Hey everybody, John here. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to preface this video really quick to point out the fact that what you're about to see is highly controversial. I am looking away from the road in order to test the in-cabin camera's ability to track driver attentiveness. I did this test yesterday on the highway and today I do it on city streets. It's important to understand that I am taking the utmost caution to ensure that the environment around me is as safe as possible. By doing that, I am looking at all the traffic around me, I am monitoring my speed, and I'm driving on only the roads that I know, that I have driven many times in the past. Lastly, I just wanted to point out the fact that I have had full self-driving beta for over a month, and I have I've been using the automated features with autopilot and navigate on autopilot for over two years. So I'm not just stepping into this as a complete newbie, going about random stuff to see how this software operates. I am pushing it to the limits, yes, it is controversial, yes. It is risky, yes. But my desire here is to help others and to get the information out there so that you know exactly what to do and what not to do. There was a message that Tesla had released saying that this is your only warning to keep your hands on the wheel. And this was related to two or more strikeouts is what they called it which resulted in the loss of autopilot availability for that drive, or at least one strike per five kilometers, or about three miles driven on autopilot, which is a visual and audible warning that requires attention. And this is the message that pops up in your car saying, please pay attention to the road. I have had numerous occasions where that message has come up with version 10.5 of full self-driving beta. It is a lot more sensitive than previous versions and it will also false trigger. So I have had my Tesla Model 3 since 2019. It's a long range, real wheel drive. I'm located here in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago and I've been putting it to the test, really risking losing full self-driving beta. This is for everybody's benefit including my own to understand how the system works because there is no instruction manual that comes with this software you get very limited amount of amounts of information so you have to put it to the test in the real world the video i released yesterday was a video showing how you can trip up the camera on the highway and i believe that the in-cabin camera attentiveness algorithm applies to both highways and city streets even though they're two separate software stacks but we're going to go ahead and confirm that here on the side streets so here we are i have a destination dialed in it's about an eight minute drive i'm going to go out and back really quick so here we go i'm going to go ahead and turn it on so here as soon as it's on i'm just going to go straight in and see how this does i'm going to test the one seven rule so I think what I'll do is I'll start it uh, right as soon as we turn left here. So it's coming up at this light and it's gonna get in the left turn lane. Okay, very well done there. And as soon as it turns left, we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay, it is a green light and we're going forward. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tension on the steering wheel. I am paying full attention right now so I can now begin the test. So here we go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, Five, six, seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay, no issues there. It works exactly the same as it does on the highways. So now I'm gonna put my visor down. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, seven, one. Okay, so what we learned here is that it does not take into account the position of your visor, and it also works the same on city streets. Now I'm gonna extend the test out for one other scenario. This is something I have not tried yet. I'm going to try, because we know eight seconds is triggering the message, please pay attention to the road but I do not know if you put 
two seconds on the road and eight seconds looking away if it's a ratio type of thing. All right, so I am at the front of the line, so I'm gonna be sensitive to other drivers around me. I'm gonna bump it up to 52 just in case here, and here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Please pay attention to the road. Okay, so it is definitely not a ratio thing. There are some limits. That was the message, by the way. Please pay attention to the road. It is definitely an issue with putting, taking your eyes off the road for eight seconds or more. So the one seven rule holds true. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.